Hi, thanks for coming back to My Little Crafty Secret. For the March edition of Christmas 365, I am sharing um, a lot of Christmas albums. Um, this first set of Christmas albums was inspired by Treasure Books, and I will definitely link her YouTube channel in the description box below. And this one, I actually learned how to do the Copic st Stitch uh, method many years ago. Um, when Seelaman first started her YouTube channel and um, I've been watching her ever since so I will definitely link her YouTube channel in the description box below. So for these, I she this was probably maybe about nine months ago when she posted this and I loved what she did. I loved it, loved it, loved it. And I wanted to make um, a mini um, a mini album using that method that she did. Uh, actually, I didn't get a chance to finish decorating any of these books. I just ran out of time and I wanted to at least share what I have here and um, we'll just get into it. So basically I just took a a sheet of 8x8, eight eight, I'm sorry, 12x12 um, 12 12 scrapbook paper. I used the, the, the paper that you would normally get in a pack of 180 sheets. So these are very thin. It's probably best to use um, paper, scrap of paper, paper that is not so thin. So maybe maybe the ones that are, you know, single-sided or could be double-sided. But either way, you know, it's it's probably best to use something a little bit thicker. And the reason why I say this is because if you notice here, I had to put in some uh, cardstock, heavy card, heart, heavy weight cardstock. I I placed it in there and um, glued this flap down, and I did that for both sides. That that way I can have like a a, st a sturdier um, uh, front and back. So yeah, it's supposed to be like a mini album accordion. What Treasure Books Natasha from Treasure Books is? She actually stitched this and she stitched the edges. It, she came out really really pretty. I really liked it. Um, and then you can like, there's pockets here so you can put photos in here or maybe receipts or whatever. List, you know, as a memorabilia. It's really cool. Really like it. And so I did that for all of these. Um, I am trying to get through my paper stash. I have a huge stash and I thought this was a great way to, to smash my stash. And, um... It, I, it, yeah, I, I was able to use a lot of my paper here, obviously. I it was even even able to break into my scrap um, paper. And I don't really use ribbon, but I have a lot of ribbon. So I was able to use that as well as, as a, a binding closure mechanism. So um, I didn't finish, like I said, but I think what I'll do is I'll just leave it like this. I'm not going to have it bound. Um... I'm not sure if I really like the way that came out, um, but I do. But I do like the way this came out without having the binding there. So yeah, um, this one's upside down, but yeah, I, I really like. And this is what it looks like before putting these little strips on. I put this on because you know, as I'm going through this, this is actually glued together. Two sheets of paper glued together, um, but on this side, it's folded here. And I just kind of felt that if this is going to last a little longer, um, I would need some type of binding strip. So, yeah, that's um, how I did these. And again, um, Natasha from Treasure Books here on YouTube, she definitely inspired me. Uh, it was, it's a great tutorial, and I definitely recommend you take a look at it and check it out. Um, this is just a Coptic Stitch Bound um, book. And again, this is, you know, it could be a journal. It could be, um, it could be like a little mini album. What I've done in the past is create these for myself and put pictures and then journal right here. So, you know, whoever does get this, I will explain how I've, I've done this before. And the past is actually upside down. <clears throat> but yeah, this is um, really easy to make. I learned how to do this Coptic stitch method uh, some years ago, and I've been watching Sea Lemon. She's um, 
she's the creator that I, I love watching on YouTube. And she has other bookbinding uh, tutorials on her channel. And it's just, it's really awesome. I really enjoy watching her and what she has to offer. So there is um, one more book that I have. I didn't get a chance to, to, um, to actually make. I have everything all, all the parts. I just need to punch holes and stitch it together. It doesn't take very long, but I just didn't have the time to do it. But um, yeah, that still needs to be decorated. These still need to be decorated. And I think in a, um, maybe in an Instagram post or another YouTube video showing how this ended up. I will definitely um, do either one of those two to let you know how uh, this came out. So I'm excited about it, but like I said, I just didn't have the time. Uh, my life is a little bit um, complicated right now, and so I'm not able to uh, spend as much time as I would like to crafting. But I really do hope that you like this project share. If you like this project share, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please also take a look at the description box below, of course, for the two other YouTube channels that I just mentioned, and also to, to look at or check out the other um, collaborators who are taking part in this collaboration, collaboration to see what they made this month. Thanks, until next time.